I say, one of the most brilliant managers in professional wrestling today, uh, the great Mephisto has quite a, uh, quite a stable indeed, sir. Yes, you know, amongst I, my stable now, I have added the Manchurians, far outstanding wrestlers, but my prize is Abdullah the Butcher. And I just want to say this, that Abdullah the Butcher should be wrestling Harley Race for the World Championship. This is the man here, and when I tell people this, they have their doubts. They think this man is too wild, too uncontrollable. But I guarantee you that you are looking here at the next World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. Well, may I just say this, that uh, uh, the last time the matches were held at the Omni at Tony Atlas, uh, an unusual situation occurred. Well, an unusual situation occurred, yes, because Tony Atlas did something out of the ordinary. Tony Atlas dared put his hands on me and from outside of the ring, I was in my rightful place. He grabbed me and pulled me into the ring. Well, I'll tell you what, let's take a look at it. Let's go to the Omni, and uh, we'll take a look at this incident that you're talking about regarding uh, yourself, Abdullah, and uh, Tony Atlas. All right, Tony Atlas, Mr. USA, uh, in the ring uh, at this point. You see, now what has happened here, Mr. Gordon Soli, that I was shouting instructions to my Abdullah, as you can very plainly see. And as I was shouting instructions, you see he has Tony Atlas down. Tony Atlas right now is on his way to certain defeat. There is no way out. Once they face this big black specimen, there is no way to go but down. You know, Tony Atlas has won many honors, I, I, I hear, in, in weightlifting, the Mr. USA. But it takes more than muscle. It takes a lot of mental concentration when you're going against a human destruction machine like my Abdullah. There you see him giving him the axe. Now, oh. uh, he did not score a pinfall. He got that shoulder off. And you're protesting it here. Yeah, now what I am doing, what I am doing, I am shouting instructions to Abdullah. You see here Tony Atlas using double chops, which is illegal, using fist to the face, which is illegal. And now you see him, now he is trying the greatest form of flattery. He is trying to duplicate the acts that Abdullah the Butcher has made famous. Well, it appears to me that Tony Atlas is completely in control of the situation. You're becoming more and more frustrated at the outside of the ring. No, no, you see, I am not frustrated because I have complete confidence in my Abdullah. I have to admit this, I have never seen anyone ever pick Abdullah up off of the mat. It took a lot of strength to do this. Here you will see now Tony Atlas is trying to suplex him. It took a tremendous amount of strength to do that. But what Tony Atlas lacks is mental concentration. You see, the Sudanese warriors were taught to fight since youth, fought to one man falls. And this is what Tony Atlas, being an American, this is what he lacks. Now, you see, I am trying now to get eye-to-eye -eye contact with Abdullah. I am shouting instructions. Now, this big goofball comes and grabs me, look at him, and slams me inside of the ring. Now, maybe, perhaps, he would have got maybe a one or a two count on Abdullah, but he couldn't concentrate that far. He had to beat up everyone in the place, everyone around the ring to show his superiority. And now you see him manhandling me. I was fulfilling my, my just right as a manager, and now you see him headbutting me. Now, he should have been disqualified for that, for bringing me into the ring. The referee should have disqualified him. Now, you see the tremendous uppercut that Abdullah has given him. Now, you see the count. One, two, three. This is what makes my Abdullah outstanding. You can't take your eyes off of Abdullah for one second, because when you do, it is certain defeat. Well, may I just say, sir, first... First of all, sir, the manager's place is outside the ring, not up on the ring ropes. Well, you know, my place is up on the ring ropes, up on the apron, as long as I do not come into the ring. You know, this Tony Atlas, like I have just stated, not to repeat myself, lacks a lot of mental concentration. Now, he is going around challenging a lot of people. He has challenged me. He has challenged my Abdullah the Butcher. As a matter of fact, I have been even challenged to participate with my Abdullah in a tag team match. 
And I, the former United States wrestling champion, am not just a great manager. I stay in top physical form at all time, ready to take on any challenge that anyone may issue to me. And with Abdullah, with Abdullah the butcher, and with the Sheik, the Manchurians, the Mongolians, I keep in top form. Well, let me just ask you this. Of course, on February 24th at the Omni in Atlanta, it's going to be you and Abdullah the Butcher against Tony Atlas. The loser of the fall must leave town. Now, I frankly, for one, am amazed that Tony Atlas would go for a situation like that. Well, you know, it was Tony Atlas himself, Gordon Soley, which issued this challenge. In the Omni, when the last time he wrestled Abdullah the Butcher, he was defeated. I thought we was finished with him. But now he has come and issued a challenge. He couldn't beat Abdullah by himself. Now he wants me in the ring. Loser leave town. Well, I guess his wrestling career has come to an end. One of those weights must have fell on top of his head and knocked him goofy to issue such a challenge. So the only thing I can say, everybody come to bid farewell to Tony Atlas because they won't see him. How in the world could he expect to beat Abdullah the Butcher and myself? There is no way. Well, we're going to find out, that's for sure. And we'd also like to remind you on February 16th, uh, Tommy Wildfire Rich goes up against the superstar in Biloxi.